shucks. I guess it's finally duck hunting season, huh? And this time, I'm the hunted. How's it going, everyone? And welcome to the full game of Bugs Burgers. And this one is by Swirly Headmate and JC Penny the Third. So just to give a brief refresher, I have played through a three-night demo of this same game a few months ago, and I just gotta say I was super blown away by everything that I've seen thus far. And now the full game has finally released. Ah, oh, great. Now I can't wait to get hunted down by these Looney Tunes animatronics yet again. <laughs> After more than a year of work, the full game is here when WB star Daffy Duck gets a job at Pepe Le Pew's new restaurant. He expects an easy paycheck. What he uncovers, however, is darker and more gruesome than anything he ever could have imagined. So without further ado, let's hop right back into the shoes, or in this case, webbed feet of Daffy Duck, and survive five long nights against these terrifyingly wacky Looney Tunes animatronics then, shall we? Oh, I'm so excited to get back into this game. Caution, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, eye trauma, depictions of violence, and other disturbing stuff. If you are offended or sensitive to any of this, do not play this game as it is not suitable for children. If you hear something unnatural in the same room as you, find a safe hiding place. Hide until the noises are gone. This game is a fan game of Five Nights at Freddy's owned by Scott Cawthon and Steel Wool Studios and features characters from Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes owned by Warner Brothers. We hope you enjoy Bugs Burgers. Regards. Swirly Headmate and J.C. Penny the Third. Fighters of Freddy's is owned by Scott Cawthon and Steel Studios. Bugs Bunny, Wally Coyote, Marvin the Martian, etc. are properties of Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies, and neither developer will claim to own them and or profit off of them. Sylvester is a fictional character we hope owned by Swirly Headmate, but he acknowledges that he's inspired by Sylvester the Cat, a property of Warner Brothers at 2023. Oh man, I am still kind of baffled that I got all of that within one go, <laughs> and I really do agree with. Wiley over there holding up that sign. That's a lot of words. However, all of this is very great to know from. <laughs> so let's press X to start this. <sighs> this game was created for Looney Tunes 100th year anniversary. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for a century of laughter. Hi there, bugs. <gasps> oh! Of slaughter? A game made by Swirly Head Mate. Sylvester Fun Fact. Thufferin Thuckatash. Sylvester J. Putty Cat. Oh, I recognize those hums from anywhere. And here is that same old menu that I've seen before back in that three night demo Bugs Burgers. But hey, no relation to Bob's Burgers in any sort of way whatsoever. We could use up on the D-pad for the credits here, created by Swirly Head Mate, Swirls, and Swirlette. Looney Tunes, franchise owned by Warner Brothers, programmed by JC Penny III, composed by Swirly Head Mate, animatronic models by J Electronics. Alright, let's get started with this as the clock is chimed at 12 a.m., getting us started for our own impending demise over at the burger joint, huh? Oh, and here's the bedroom that we're waking up in. Yeah, and like before, I'm going to try and do the voices of these guys the best that I can. I know that these are not going to be perfect impressions, all right? Well, I guess tonight's the night. My first night shift. If I remember correctly. Which, to be fair... I rarely can nowadays. Pepe Le Pew told me the night shift starts at 12 a.m. If that's the case, I guess I'll just leave at 11.30. Ugh. It's been harder and harder to get good sleep as of late. Oh, hey, <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> can you go sleep somewhere else and... Well, not let me see this unpleasant sight right here. Sylvester agreed to stay over with me. Something bad happened with Porky. And nothing is more nerve-wracking than a pit that puts their behind right in front of your face while you sleep. Especially one with Sylvester's diet. 
it's never hit until now. But the idea of staying overnight in a closed pizzeria alone, except for those weird look-alike clones of my pals, it's nightmarish. Why Pepe and Bug sunk money into those spawns of Satan is beyond me. Oh well, I've learned not to question Bug's sanity anymore. It only makes me more confused. Come on, Daph. It's only a few hours past your usual bedtime. It ain't gonna kill you. Besides, when have things ever gone wrong for you? You fun fact? Uh, there's nothing fun about this fact because there's clearly nothing that I can read from from down there. So, there's nothing fun in the first place. <laughs> Bugs Burgers. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh, hi there, buddy. I remember you doing that from last time. Oh, who's calling up the phone? March 9th. 1988, the first shift. Huh? Hey, Foghorn Leghorn! What's up, man? Hello? You there, Daff? Mentally? No. Daffy boy! Rough month already? Don't you worry, Pepe and Bugs really appreciate this. Plus, they'll pay you real well, too. I say, real well. I say, all you need to do, boy, is work the night shift for five nights straight. No, I say, I take the job myself, but boy, the farm's been busier than ever. So, what's with the animatronics? Honestly, boy, I don't got a clue. For the kiddies, I guess. Though I don't know whose idea it was to put the animatronics, specifically these ones, anywhere near kids. Wait, why? As uncanny as they are, they ain't hurting no one. Let me tell you, boy, between you and me, something ain't right about them. Sometimes, boy, when I get near them, they give me these weird looks. Like, as if they were looking through. How can someone look through all of you? Real funny, Daff. Anything else? Did you see that boarded up door on the left? Huh, must have missed it. Pretty suspicious, don't you think? Yeah, and there's some secrets behind that door that shouldn't be let known to the public, huh? Sylvester, fun fact. Sylvester has actually caught and eaten Tweety multiple times before. Well then, how does Tweety survive every single time that Sylvester supposedly eats Tweety Bird, huh? Oh, Wiley Coyote will slowly tiptoe towards you. When he's in your office, use the stage call. What's up, Doc? I don't know. Putting myself in impending danger with these animatronics, huh? <laughs> oh, and pressing down the D-pad can squeak that plushie right there. Pressing X activates that stage call. Pressing triangle flips on the cameras here. Oh, oh, and Wiley Coyote is already moving around as everyone else is already inactive right there. Oh, and there's that same boarded up door. As there's some secrets that obviously we shouldn't know. And there are those arcade machines giving us a wide spectrum of color there. And there's a back room area. And there's another side stage. And there's me in my office. Let's go. And Wiley is lurking very closer here. I'm going to activate the stage call as soon as you're here. And that's how you deal with Wiley Coyote. And there we go. Night one has been finished. It is now 6 a.m. Daffy can leave now. And we get a traditional Looney Tunes screen right here. Man, such an all-time famous classic there. Oh. Ah, oh, I remember this cutscene right here. Just trying to do some... Wacky plan right here to finally catch the Roadrunner. Oh. There he is. Uh, I don't think that's a rope there at all, Wily. 
Yeah, if you just look up. Oh, wow! Yep. That happens. <laughs> There he goes, dropping into the abyssal void there. Oh no, Wily? Oh my gosh, dude. Rest in peace to Wily Coyote. You think this is a fun game, huh, you mysterious being? Known as Sylvester. Sylvester, fun fact. Sylvester is an eldritch being, though he actually doesn't think of himself as evil, just doing his job. Here we go. Moving on to night two. Sylvester, fun fact. <laughs> Sylvester often works on VHS tapes in his free time. He can even insert himself into them. So Sylvester can do his own fourth wall breaks in his own VHS tapes? You know what? Gotta respect that move right there. March 10th, 1988, back for more. Tweety, nice juicy bird here. I know who that exactly is for right there. Mon wonderful duck friend, bonjour. Pepe, nice to hear your voice again. How's France treating you? Oh, it is treating me wonderfully. I'm the talk of the town here. Can't imagine why. Not like you're a walking, talking skunk or something. So... What's this call for? Oh, 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 oh. I simply wanted to see how you were enjoying your new job. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I truly appreciate how helpful you have been lately. Oh, oh, oh. That and there might have been a little uh, issue with the ventilation system in the building. <laughs> The vent? Uh, what's up? Oh, 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 oh. Too much air pressure, I suppose. I'm non-mechanic. It is not my job. Neither is it yours. Oh, 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 oh. Blew one of the vent covers out near the stage. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> also, I uh, don't know how to ask this. <laughs> Are your animatronics supposed to m move? Oh, 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 oh. What? No, not at night. Why do you ask? <laughs> It's nothing, actually. Oh, 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 oh. I might know what you are referring to. Oh, 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 oh. The robots acting aggressive at night? We've had repairs of stuff like that before. Oh, 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 oh. I used to work there on the night shift before you. Saw some of the robots moving around too. Oh, oh, oh. One even tried to attack me. <laughs> I, I thought this was a safe job. You never mentioned the killer robots. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry for not informing you beforehand, Daffy. Oh, 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 oh. The reason I never told you was because I thought I had someone fix their systems. <laughs> I forgive you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, by the way, if the putty tat tries to have you for dinner, I got the 20 animatronic working. Oh, 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 oh. It is behind you in the cage. It'll go off whenever Sylvester is close. <laughs> Great, fighting an annoyance with an even bigger annoyance. Oh. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Now I must be going. I hope to see you in the morning. Night. Yeah, I'm trying my best with the voice impressions here. But what is this fun fact right here of Daffy Duck himself? Oh, here we go. Sylvester Putty Tan. We'll enter the ventilation system and crawl to your office through the vents. Tweety will alert you when Sylvester is about to attack you. You must hide when Sylvester is crawling in the vents. Oh, there he goes into the vent system. That's not good. Okay. Oh, and I can look behind me to see Tweety Bird freaking out. Oh, gosh. Hide. All right, so I press circle to hide under the table. Okay, you can go back. You're still in the vent. Oh! Sylvester. Why'd you do this to me, man? Duck season? Looney Tunes star found dead. In the early hours of yesterday, police were called to the recently opened Bugs Burgers, run by Bugs Bunny and Pepe Le Pew. A police report issued to the public revealed that the corpse of a security guard was found in the main office. The victim's head had been cracked open, presumably by a blunt object like a mallet. That same giant hammer that was right beside my desk in my office? A coroner report confirms that the body was Daffy Duck, 
the screwball duck of Looney Tunes fame. Why he decided to work there is currently unknown. He just wanted the money, alright? That's all that these jobs are offering for, huh? Oh gosh. How you successfully deal with Sylvester. Why don't you just stay on the stage and not eat the poor little Tweety Bird right behind me, alright? Hey, Roadrunner's over there by the stage again. Go check that out. Ah, got you a second time. You are so gullible, man. And there you go. Night 2 has been wrapped up. It is now 6 a.m. Daffy can leave now. Oh, and the Looney Tunes intro is all more distorted here uh where is bugs's face at uh oh there he is oh he is looking more different than before oh tweety and there's sylvester giving him the stare of the century all right so it's another one of these animated shorts right here Hey, little Tet. Shouldn't you be asleep? Oh, Father. I think there's something in our basement. Oh, well, well, they can get snug and cozy down there because I'm not going. But, but Father, they look evil. Nope, not a, not listening. But Granny won't like intruders, will she? She can go do it herself. I ain't going. Yep. So much for Father of the Year. <laughs> I guess I have to check it out myself. How about you don't be courageous and go down there all by your own self, man? That's obviously not a good idea. See, so look at that. They have white, bright, glowing eyes. Do you really want to go down and investigate that basement now, huh? Hello? So, Father said you could stay there. He's too scared of the dark. A real scaredy cat, huh? I do not like this silence right here. Only the buzzing of the VHS tape. Hello? Hello, tiny cats. Did your dad tell you not to talk to strangers in basements? Or was he too focused on chasing birds to give you any attention? Oh, he actually does talk? Oh, that is so freaking creepy. How his voice echoes in the background like that every time that he just talks? Who? What are you? That isn't important right now. Names will me hide who we truly are. You obviously don't know me, but I've known you and your cowardly father for decades. I didn't ask for your wisdom, creep. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the heck you're doing in our house. Hell. How vulgar for a child. Not surprising. He isn't a very good father, is he? Clearly not, since he didn't come it's down to the basement fault, himself though. to kick you out. Is it? He can barely take care of himself. Anyways, if you want me to leave, you need to give me something to drink. How does milk sound? Yeah, it Two sounds alright. Fat, of course. Who'd want to drink fat free milk? Again, don't stand on it. Unknown entities that want to ask for milk or else that'll happen to you, alright? 
<laughs> Swirly and Swirlet fun fact. Here we go on to night three. Oh man, this is gonna be freaking terrifying. Oh, we're getting another phone call right now. March 11th, 1988. Losing hope. And there's that boarded up door. Oh man, what secrets mm -hmm. lie behind that mysterious door, huh? Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> So recently, I have been doing a Marvin the Martian voice impression, so I know it's not going to be the best in the world, however, I will try my best here, okay? Hello? Is... is anyone there? Marvin? You get reception on Mars? Well, I'm just in the midst of a temporary stay on Earth, actually. Listen, I... I know we aren't good friends, Earthling. <laughs> but I need to tell you, right now, you're the closest thing to it. It? <laughs> Great. I'm dealing with clowns now? <laughs> Daffy, this isn't a joke. <laughs> right now? You're not even yards away from an entity that could destroy the entire world. What? Personally, I wouldn't mind that at all, but I know what it truly is now. It wouldn't stop there. Personally, I wouldn't mind that at all, but I know what it truly is now. It wouldn't stop there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there is a boarded up door there, right? Yes, near the state. Daffy, don't open that door. It's in there. Pepe tricked you. He knew your new job would get you killed. But we're friends. Why would he want me dead? When did I say he wanted you dead? Have you heard of, um... Sylvester? Nope. I think he's some sort of eldritch being, resembling your friend Sylvester in a much more murderous form. He has no limits. He'll devour anything and everything. It doesn't matter who. And it's in the building with you right now. Pepe doesn't want to kill you or anyone. He's trying to save you and the world from that... thing. The only way to satiate and calm him is to feed him bodies. Alive or dead, he doesn't care. And under no circumstances can you allow that door to open. If you do... Oh no, Marvin! He got taken down by Elmer Fudd. Just a twisted and demented version of Elmer Fudd. Oh, I do not like that smile at all. Alright, goodbye then, Elmer Fudd. Marvin the Martian fun fact. Marvin has a burning hatred for humans. Oh, Bugs Bunny will walk around the area, then enter your office, hide under your desk when he does. Tasmanian Devil sits in the Tasmanian Cove and will slowly come out. He'll run towards you and peek inside your office. When he does, look away immediately. If you don't, he'll show off your power. <gasps> oh, okay, that's new. So, Taz is also active for tonight. Okay. Things are getting way more insane right now. Oh, there he is, with the stick of dynamite right now, ready to end my day here. <sighs> okay, that was so close. <laughs> and there he is, accompanying Taz. Oh, wow! Okay, and that's how you properly deal with bugs. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, I'm looking away for you. Alright, so that's how you properly deal with...
Taz right there. Oh, okay. We're going to hide under the desk right now. And there's another tagline on that banner right up there. Despicable. It really is despicable with all these animatronics moving around trying to take me out. Hide. No, come on, Taz. Uh, where's that melody playing from? Oh, shoot. Uh, there's an animatronic right in front of me right now. Oh, gosh. Everything went dark. Uh, hello? Oh, shoot. Hey there, Sylvester. Yeah, you're waving at me and let me know that I'm about to <laughs> Yep. And there I go. Gosh! Oh! Hi there, Foghorn! You didn't really need to knock me out with your bat like that, man! Oh! Hi there, Soul Fister! I'm glad you keep watching. Do you want a reward? I don't think I want a reward after what's been going down here, buddy. Oh, get to actually see what's going on behind that board up door. That's all open. Oh, Pepe Le Pew. What do you think you're doing, huh? Oh, no, don't toss me down there. No, there I go. Being fed to the belly of this beast right here. Hello, player. Oh, hi. Oh. Did I scare you? My controller's shaking right now. Sorry. Yes. I'm the demonic Sylvester that the little Martian referred to. And no. I don't have a list. You know, it's fake. Anyways. He can speak just fine. So can I. Oh. Who am I? Please refer to me as Soul Vester. Chose the name myself. I'll have you know. Oh. Daphne? Don't worry about him. Oh, should I not? Honest. Dying is most likely the best thing that's happened to him after the last few days. And yes, he really is dead. Ah, oh, come Personally, on, buddy. Good riddance. Another he was trying his best. Taken care of. Many more annoyances left, sadly. The backstabbing skunk, for example. I love to pluck the eyeballs from his skull sometimes. Yes, I am bloodthirsty, but personally, I couldn't care less what you think of me. Yeah, because you're a sick entity. You weren't treated like I was. You weren't backstabbed, tricked with false promises and I love you much less twice I trust nobody anymore I can only trust in murder you don't know the full story do you don't you look at me like that Sylvester that's why you think I'm the bad guy here you don't know me completely. You just think I kill simply because I enjoy it. You would be correct. The thrill of murder keeps me killing. 
However, that's not all. I've been betrayed, attacked, brutalized by everyone I've met. There's your original four, huh? Bugs, Daffy, Wily Granny, Hawky, every single one of them, and Tweety. of all of my agony. I was beaten, broken, starved. And all you did was laugh. You pointed and laughed at me. All because I was desperate to be fed. To be fair to anything. You seem to love violence, don't you? Do you enjoy hurting other people? Last time I checked, no I did When not did I ask it. for your sympathy? All I want is for you to watch. Watch and learn. Learn what happened to me. Okay. Oh. We're getting some VHS footage now. There he goes chasing down Tweety Bird. Oh, this is so eerie so far. Oh my god. Oh, and he tripped and fell over that face. Oh, and that's the moment that he turned. to the basement like that. Oh my gosh, that is so horrible, dude. There he lies, all alone. And... He's getting up one final time here. on the other side of that door and like what's actually going on there. Oh, there goes Foghorn, Marvin, Taz, Orky, Wiley. Oh, yep, and that is how Sylvester is born. And it was brand new dark form that he's now known as. Okay, let's get started with Nightcore. Oh, wow! All right, so there's the remains of pre-Sylvester there. Stop thinking. You're in control. This is my game now? What kind of a fourth wall break is going on here? I will gladly let you see more. However, proceed with the notion that you are not truly in control it's like autopilot except a bit more subtle oh that genuinely freaking scared me oh my goodness oh bugs burgers coming soon march 12th 1988 no way back 
And there's some police cruisers pulled up right in front of this establishment right there. And there's Bugs and Pepe Le Pew. Just all on that big sign right there. Who is walking up to the scene right now? <laughs> All right. This is the place. I'm still unsure why he'd come here. Surely that Martian would know better than to come here. I wanted a mechanic, not a burger. I mean, burgers are still good, right? Speedy Gonzalez will come out of his hole and into your office. Instead of attacking, he'll attempt to steal Tweety, use the cage to get rid of him. What is going on here? Okay, everything is more sinister right here. You shouldn't be here. Oh, no. And there I am, sitting in the office like I usually am. Also, where in the world does that lead to? Oh, I saw him there clinging onto the side of that birdcage. About to eat Tweety Bird right up. A good thing you live to see another day, by the way, little buddy. And there we go. Finished off night four on my first try. <laughs> oh, do you really think I'd let you go so soon? Uh, why is there a headless bugs right there? Oh, shoot, what's happening? Oh, gosh. All right, that's not good at all. Oh, Taz is right there. Oh, even Wiley doesn't have a head this time. <laughs> no, come on, dude. I was dealing with someone else. Oh, hi, Bugs. <laughs> a posing right towards me in my office like that. Uh, that's a fake crash. Mm. You really think you're going to get me easily like that, Sylvester? Your tricks are not going to get me that time. Sylvester.obj found there is no hope? Hey there, Tweety. Uh, what's going on? Oh, hi there, Sylvester! Oh, shoot. That's not good. My whole game has been corrupted here. Is it all just a mere dream? <laughs> Must have fallen asleep. <laughs> this place is boring. <laughs> what was with those headless robots, though? And that's a question that I really also want to answer there. And I guess we're going to move on to night five. <laughs> And we're just going to continue on and see what other sort of sinister things that Sylvester wants. Nothing is here for you. Oh. All of the animatronics are gone? Uh, who are you now? You're obviously not Taz, and there goes another link that leads to somewhere. Uh, okay, man, this is... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. No, thank you. I do not want to turn around. Can I go into that room and play on those arcade machines instead? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. <gasps> we can use you? We will fix you? What does that even mean? Oh! Oh, the power for the leash, that's off. Come to mommy. Oh my 
I, I got kicked in the face? <laughs> and that was the same entity that I saw in that slideshow of Looney Tunes before Sylvester came in. Do you want to take her? Oh, that's Lola, buddy? She just dives right into the pit there. Come on, Foghorn. You don't need to do this, buddy. Alright. I'll do just that, okay? Uh, what do you think you're doing, pal? Oh, we're actually fighting against him? Oh, okay. Yeah, get wrecked, man. <laughs> and we also jumped out of the pit, I guess, to put a stop to what curse is actually going on here. And ultimately put an end to Sylvester as we know it. And there we go, falling into the abyssal void below. For how long, it really does depend how long we're stuck down here in the void. Welcome home, Tyranny. Where are we at right now? Basement stairs from earlier. We're going right back into Sylvester's house. Ugh, I don't like that. Don't be playing Acme. You got a live one. Good. Get them back here. We've got work to do. Roger that, sir. What do you mean? We got a live one. Bugs? Burgers? What was that? <laughs> made by Swirly Head Mate, J.C. Penny the Third. Composed by Swirly Head Mate with songs from Infinity Frequency, Cyber Reality, Models by J. Electronics. I am so stunned right there. Oh my gosh. I am so stunned right after that ending. Holy smokes. And there is another link that leads right into some other place. <laughs> I have to check these websites out because I really am curious to see what happens if you type up these links and probably Sylvester will greet you with more secrets, huh? Alright, let's press X and... Move on back to the menu and look at that! We got ourselves that star right on the menu. We unlocked the Vaporwave Knight. I remember that one very well. And the extras. So let's go ahead and take a look at the extras here. And here we have the tunes remade into these animatronics right here. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of lore about these guys, too. I love whenever there's so much lore packed into these animatronics. It's such a fun read. Bugs Bunny, The Fool. Species Rabbit debut, 1938 to 1940. Gender, transgender male, quote, Hey, what's up, Doc? Bio, the snarky, witty face of Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny is truly the star of the show. Known for his superb fashion sense, he'll also do quite literally anything to stay the star. After making a deal with Pepe and opening up Bugs Burgers, he suggested that Soul Fester be put down under the establishment for good luck. His pregnant wife Lola soon became Parasite Lola after he finished Soul Fester's room. However, he'd still say it was worth it in the end, as it kept making him lots of money. He's also good friends and occasional enemies with Daffy. <laughs> Wily Coyote, The Addict, Species Coyote, debut 1949, gender, transgender male, quote, Wily Coyote, super genius. 
by a, described by his own creator as an allegory of the desire to want. Wiley e. Coyote is a frustrated super genius known for creating bizarre, absurdly complex machines with the help of Acme. He is willing to sacrifice anything and everything to catch his one prize prey, the Roadrunner, yet fails every single time. He is also known for being prone to comedic injury. Second only to Sylvester, Roadrunner still likes them all the same, though. So it's kind of like a mutual thing that's going on here. You know, Wily is still trying to catch the Roadrunner, but the Roadrunner still likes him as a friend, regardless. Sylvester J. Puddington, the coward, species tuxedo cat, debut 1939 to 1945, gender male, quote, suffering succotat. Bio, a cuddly, egotistical putty tag. Sylvester is often hunting down canneries or lounging around with Granny. After an incident at Porky's, he was sent to live with Daffy Duck at his apartment as a loving, if flatulent, cat. Known for his lisp, Sylvester is often plotting or snoozing. However, he is also a proud father, being a single father to Sylvester Jr. Sylvester is also known for his episodes of severe depression and mental breakdowns, which has driven him to attempts at taking his own life. These have only gotten worse after Daffy took the job. Sheesh, man. I hope you're doing well nowadays, Sylvester, and getting all the help that you need, buddy, because, dang. I really do wish the best of you, man, because, golly, you really do deserve better. Tasmanian Devil, the Glutton. Species, guess, debut 1954, gender male, quote, unintelligible noises. Bio, coming from the island of Tasmania, Taz is a walking or spinning hurricane, known for his ability to spin very, very fast. Taz is also physically unable to become full and can devour anything around him in record time. He also has a wife named the She-Devil, who perhaps is more scary than he is. He's not the brightest of the bunch, though, being the overall stupidest Looney Tune. We still love him because, well, look at him. How couldn't you? Yeah, with that big smile on his face, he won't totally cut off the power and make you suffer an untimely demise. Yeah, he won't be doing any of that anytime soon, right? Look at how wholesome he looks. Daffy Duck, the Night Guard. Species American Black Duck, debut 1937, gender transgender male. Quote, you're despicable. Bio, probably the most insane out of all the tunes. Daffy is the definition of the term screwball, the second oldest tune of the main cast and probably the looniest. He took up the job at Bugs Burgers to help Bugs and Pepe. That and the money good, he claims. After all, being paid 26 an hour wasn't shabby money at all. He also let Sylvester live with him while he went to work, but after spending a few nights there, he began to notice that something was very wrong with the animatronics and whatever else was inside. Queen Tyranny, the Queen, species Martian, debut 2003 gender female, quote, greetings, Earthly. Bio, the Queen of Mars, Tyranny, landed on planet Earth with her boyfriend Marvin to study it, but Marvin's ship, the Mars Maggot, was sabotaged by an unknown assailant. While trying to repair it, Marvin came across the restaurant, and after researching into Sylvester and informing Daffy, both of them went missing. Tyranny soon went to investigate the restaurant herself. Powerful, fearless, and daring, she'll do anything to protect Mars as well as her boyfriend. Oh, and here's the revised tab, and look who we got here, Sylvester the Horror. Species Tuxedo Cat in an Eldritch Con. <laughs> Debut 1945 to 2022. Gender male, quote, I am death. I am the plague. I am God. Bio, an Eldritch abomination that takes the form of Sylvester. Sylvester is one of the most powerful creatures in Looney Tunes. Angry, merciless, and wanting revenge on those who wronged him. He can bend reality to his will and often breaks the fourth wall. He shares no relation to the normal Sylvester, as he is, in fact, the original Sylvester. He also has a fascination with VHS tapes, often making tapes for his different murders. He can even insert himself into scenes and games he doesn't belong in. He also has a loving pet, so keep that in mind. Parasite Lola, the mother. 
Species, Rabbit, and a Parasitic Virus, debuted 1996 and 2022. Gender female, quote, come to mommy. Bio, while not as dangerous as Solfesters, don't let her maternity fool you. Instead of craving pickles, this bloodthirsty rabbit craves flesh. Her agility and speed rivals that of a cheetah, and is very skilled in karate. She can even do cartwheels and flips. Before Bugs Burgers, Lola was infested with a virus known as PBL-1996. She was originally believed Bugs got her pregnant, but during labor, her body slowly transformed into a horrifying spider creature. You'd think being permanently pregnant with other parasites would put a damper on her mood, though judging by her sultry, if unpredictable personality, she doesn't mind too much. Next up is Revived Bugs the Seeker. Species Rabbit and Revived debut 1940 to 2022 gender transgender male quote, I can see you everywhere. Bio. With phenomenal sight and stealth, Revived Bugs can prove to be a difficult enemy to see coming, and an even harder one to escape. He's much more chill than most other Revived, but he's still bloodthirsty. He's very slow due to his size, but he can stalk down and ensnare his victims. He usually kills his victims by disemboweling them, using their intestines as food. However, he always tries to clean up after himself after a meal. He also eats twice as many carrots as normal bugs to improve his eyesight. Oh, and he can also see in the dark, so yikes. It's probably with all those carrots that he's been eating that he is now fully evolved to seeing in the dark, huh? Revived Wild E. The sound. Species Coyote and Revive debut 1949 to 2022. Gender male, quote, screaming. Bio. After being killed by Sylvester, Wiley was cursed with a fate worse than death. His eyes were skewered and he was left permanently blinded. He's mostly known for his horrible screeching and wailing, which, in cases of extended exposure, can leave some people deaf. Despite this, he hears very well, even the slightest footstep. He can even hear his blood running through his veins, which is probably why he is the most insane out of all the revived. He possesses a burning need for self-harm, but cannot be killed by usual means. Oh, and those holes in his body? That isn't cranberry sauce. Well, I already established that a few moments ago, ever since the beginning of all this madness that was going on here. Elmer Fudd, Species, Human, and Slasher, debut 1939 to 2022, gender male, quote, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Bio, the mortal enemy of Bugs Bunny. Elmer Fudd is a renowned hunter and trapper. He has captured many different animals in his life, but the one goal in his life is to kill bugs. He is so desperate that he sold his soul and was the second tune next to Sylvester to show symptoms in order to catch him. He became a slasher, a type of revive that follows 80 slasher rules, such as teleportation and slowly walking towards victims. Sylvester removed his original eyes, leaving him actually blind. This inadvertently led him to shoot Marvin, mistaking him for bugs. Tunes have reported sightings of him, and he doesn't look quite the same. I just gotta say, for Elmer Fudd in this horrifying state that he's in right now, he actually has some really great dental care going on. Look at how pearly white his teeth are. So for now, that's pretty much all the extras. I couldn't access the miscellaneous tab, and it said at the top right corner that it was still a work in progress, so I guess that's gonna be added in later at some point. So what happens if we press continue? I think I might have known what's gonna happen last time. Oh, yep. We're still in the same bricked-off room here with this mysterious shadow creature. I still have no idea what the significance of this is right here. But I'm just trapped in here with this guy for all eternity. So the only other thing that's left for me to check out is the Vaporwave Knight. And we're gonna go smooth with all the jams going on here. Oh, here we go. Oh man, I'm loving this so far. I can already start to move around here. Oh gosh. Oh, come on! Sylvester, can you please go away? Ooh, okay. Now we're getting to some of that smooth jamming going on here. 
Okay, you can get out of here, bugs. As dope as you look right now, I need you to get out of here. Oh, no! Please. It's 5 a.m. right now. Don't do this to me. Oh, yeah, give me some of those smooth jams, bugs. Hey! This is like one of the most smooth game overs that I've ever gotten before. Yeah! Let's go! I finally took down the Vaporwave Night. It is now 6 a.m. Good vibes indeed. Holy smokes, that was insane. Hey everyone, didn't expect for this to happen. <laughs> so I am recording this part of the video on the very next day on my laptop and I just wanted to investigate those secret links that I found throughout the main game of Bugs Burgers a little bit closer just so that I could see what other kind of secrets are lurking beyond this world here. So I'm gonna investigate the first link that I found and see what kind of other secrets are gonna be hiding in there. So this first link was found on night four as it was randomly moving around the camera systems at the same time, I was trying to deal with these Looney Tunes animatronics from trying to get into my office. And after typing that out in its full entirety, led me to a different page that led me to a different website. And I was able to download a text file that was ominously called Become Death. And I copied all of the contents of the inside of that text file onto a Google Doc just so that I could easily go over it here. And I'm already starting to see a lot of cryptic stuff going on here. So I'm guessing that this might be a secret message that I can be able to decipher here. So I'm going to slowly scroll all the way down here. Just so that I can let y'all scan through all this mysterious stuff going on here. And look what we got here at the very last page. I have become death. The destroyer of worlds. And it repeats for a little bit there until it just turns into a gargle of corrupted text at the bottom part of this page right here. So this is an obvious reference to Sylvester as they are this sinister eldritch godlike being causing a lot of chaos to unfold around the entire world. Also in my opinion this right here kind of looks like a claw mark shape but I think it might just be looking into things a little bit too much huh. Moving on to the next link that was found Right after reaching the end of the credits this time, I typed out the full link in its entirety and it took me to the same exact page just like with the prior link. I downloaded that same exact text file that was this time called Acme Training Manual and there was a whole lot of L's at the end of that title here. <laughs> and I copied everything over to the Google Doc and this logo didn't translate well as y'all can tell. <laughs> However, it is still readable here. <laughs> Acme Containment Facility Employee Manual. Ah, this is gonna be a very cool read here. Welcome to the Acme Containment Facility Employee Manual. We are thrilled to have you on board as part of our team. Acme, a company that makes everything, was in the past. A company that usually specializes in producing various types of products, from everyday items to high-tech inventions. Our company was known for its innovative products that make our customers' lives easier and more exciting. However, as of recently, we have had to confront the issue of the invasion of revived, slashers, parasites, etc. You will find information about our company and how we are fighting the epidemic here. So Acme was originally a manufacturing company producing all of these convenient things for customers to use. And after what Sylvester was pulling off in the background here, making all of these very, very dangerous abominations roaming around the world, Acme transitioned over to a containment facility just so that they can fight off whatever kind of mysterious thing is going on here. Number one, introduction. Acme was founded in the early 1900s and was dedicated to producing quality products that met the needs of our customers. Now we are a team of scientists and soldiers that have been trained for apocalypse-like scenarios. Our main headquarters are located in the heart of Albuquerque and is heavily guarded. We also have contained certain, revived, and have been able to interview some of them. 
Our main mission is to inform the public about how to survive attacks against Revived and soon develop a cure for the virus. This right here is giving me some classic SCP Foundation vibes and I am all for it here. A mysterious organization going out there and containing these dangerous entities and they're studying them very closely and gaining some sort of information out of them as they're being interviewed here. Wow, good luck with that, by the way. And they're this last beacon of hope to pretty much fight off against this mysterious virus that's now sweeping the entire globe and... Hmm, I wonder where that came from, huh? Sylvester really does like to craft up these very evil plans here. Number two, job opportunities. As an Acme employee, you will work in one of the following departments. Analysis, analyzing and identifying potential chemicals and develop possible solutions to the revived virus. Development, developing weapons and defenses against the virus such as guns or mallets. Containment, capturing and containing revived that have been reported and cited around a certain area. Interview, your job. Speaking firsthand to a safely contained revive for information. PSA creator. Creating PSAs from Acme to the public, informing them on updates on the virus. Administration. Ensuring that the company runs smoothly and efficiently. So obviously these are all of the open jobs that we can apply for. However, I am getting some anxiety since, well, my job is to pretty much interview with one of these revives. Hopefully nothing doesn't go wrong behind the scenes. Number three, containment training. At Acme, we take training seriously. All new employees that may apply for containment will undergo a rigorous training program to ensure that they are fully equipped to carry out their responsibilities. The training will cover topics such as RRI, Rapid Revived Identification. Weapon training, trigger discipline is necessary for containment procedures and research techniques. Additionally, ongoing training is mandatory to ensure that all employees are up to date on the latest revived developments. Oh man, I really do love the lore building that's going on here. Just reading the various things that are going on behind the scenes and knowing what other horrors are happening. All thanks to Sylvester orchestrating the whole thing. Seeing that there is a counteracting side pushing back against the chaos that Sylvester is now doing with this new virus and Acme will hopefully find a cure to put an end to this new mysterious virus once and for all here and save the entire world really. <laughs> Number 4. Interview Training In order to identify and contain the infection, you'll need to conduct interviews with Revive Tunes. To begin the interview, introduce yourself to the tune. They are usually surprisingly willing to talk. You should first make sure that you have taken all the necessary precautions. This includes wearing acne provided protective gear, gloves, and masks. Once you are properly equipped, you may begin the interview. It is important to approach the revived with caution and respect. They are still sentient beings, even if they are known for being aggressive. Acme has developed a special protocol for communicating with certain revived which involves using non-verbal cues and simple gestures to establish a connection. If the infected tune is willing to communicate, they will often respond positively to friendly gestures and will try to convey their message using a combination of sounds, movements, and facial expressions. It is also important to keep in mind that they can be unpredictable and their behavior can change rapidly. Therefore, it is recommended that you have a backup plan in case the communication breaks down or the revive becomes aggressive. Acme will have the containment team on standby who specializes in dealing with them, and they can be called upon if the situation becomes too difficult to handle. Though keep in mind that they may have difficulty in putting the threat down as they are much stronger than normal tunes. Oh, this is so cool right here. Seeing all of these protocols to make sure that the interviewing process goes smoothly, using all of these simple forms of communication to make sure that the interviewing process with this infected tune goes smoothly. However, not all is what it seems, huh? <laughs> that their behavior can change rapidly. So within like a flick of a switch or possibly at some other point within the interview, these infected tunes can pretty much change their behavior randomly, huh? Thank you for reviewing this manual. We hope you have a wonderful day at your new job with us. 
Acme Containment Facility. Oh, this was all such a fantastic immersive read right here. In the past, one of my personal favorite things was to read through a lot of these numerous SCP files and other documents, and I was so immersed in the universe that they were trying to present there. And just reading through all of this stuff right here with this Acme Containment Facility in the same universe as Bugs Burgers, Oh, I loved all this so much. Yeah, I'm still reconsidering not interviewing with one of these highly dangerous infected dudes. <laughs> and for the final link, I finished off night four and I continued on with the main game and there was no animatronics this time and there was a peculiar entity with bright glowing eyes just hiding out right in Taz's cove. This time it was a YouTube video link and we have a very mysterious video right here that was produced by the Acme Containment Facility, simply called Acme Containment Facility Parasitic. So I presume that this is going to go over the parasitic category of the infected Looney Tunes. And, and I'm excited to see what exactly this tape is going to offer here. So if we scroll right to the description of this video here, we can see that this time there is a secret message in Morse code. In this Acme Containment Facility, Parasitic Tape was made by one of the developers of Bugs Burgers, Swirly Head Mate, and this YouTube channel is called Swirl, so I'm gonna leave the original video linked down there in the description along with the original creator, and definitely go show them a lot of support. Uh, here we go, a VHS tape. Oh, this is gonna be very eerie to watch. I'm gonna press play in three. Two, one, here we go. Acme Containment Facility. Attention, oh. please focus on the following message from our staff. Yep, I the got ACME the facility would like to inform viewers of a new possible threat stalking the streets. Captured the subject months prior, but due to reasons that ACME would rather not mention, please don't escape. ask. This subject is infected with a possibly new type of virus, Revive connected to the staff. growing revived epidemic. Due to the way it is spread, ACME has named it Parasitic. Alternatively, Acme staff have given them the nickname of Mothers and Fathers. However, this is technically incorrect, as gestating periods do not work in a normal fashion. The subject in question, Lola Bunny, the wife of the currently missing Bugs Bunny. And I saw she was last reported two days ago by an anonymous tune, who recalled that the subject while obviously deep into pregnancy, moved incredibly fast. The subject can be easily identified by the way it moves, oh, often man. running on all fours, much faster than an average tune. Interestingly, some tunes who were designed to go very fast, such as Roadrunner, Speedy, Gonzales, Tasmanian Devil, etc., would slow down if infested with the virus. This may be because the difference from average blood to infected blood causes a severe speed decrease in fast tunes. They are also known for their fascination with arachnids, often, arachnids. quote, birthing spiders out of the eye in its stomach. That right there is just a horrifying sight, isn't it? My gosh. Footage taken from Acme facility during an interview with Lola while she was still in captivity. So, going back to that training manual thing, yeah, given an interview with one of these parasitics, yeah, still is a very great idea now, huh? Just by looking at Lola Bunny here. <laughs> However, the most frightening part Acme has uncovered is that instead of simply killing victims to revive them, such as the slasher type, yeah. parasitic types will kiss the host they have chosen, filling their insides with gallons and gallons of arachnids, oh, and resulting God. in a, quote, <laughs> perfect pregnancy. Perfect pregnancy. The hosts will then, over only a matter of weeks, begin to show symptoms of the virus, such as a heavily expanded midsection, red pupils resembling that of a spider, an auditorial distortion when they communicate, and an eye replacing their navel. And for those male tunes that may man, think they're safe, a weird way think of again. Spread a virus. Oh, While man. Layla was still in our captivity, ACME staff gathered 40 rats, both of male and female genders, and left them in the subject's room. A few weeks later, all 40 of them were infested with the virus oh, and showing gosh, symptoms, yeah. including That's the male rats. <laughs> Luckily, all. like all the other revived we have discussed prior, they were put down with a few bullets to the head. 
Remember when attempting to subdue a revive? Aim for the head. Although they can be killed like any other two, they are much more resilient to damage. <laughs> Make your shots count if when you encounter one. Oh my gosh, this is so interestingly disturbing so far. Just to see them spread that sort of way just by simply giving another organism a smooch and that's how they turn into a parasitic just seeing their physical changes including them being pregnant with like this spider in their womb oh man this is something i've never seen before at all if you encounter an intruder around or inside your household who you think may be a parasite Please follow the SEAL protocol. Remember the SEAL protocol? Search around your property for a phone or answering machine. Don't worry, I already got that. Dial 911 on your phone and inform the police that there is a parasite in your house. Hold or call the ACME hobby. facility and report it to us instead. Don't you worry, I will do that, Arm man. Arm yourself with a weapon. Parasites are still able to be killed, just like any other tune. A mallet, a gun, or a knife will work fine. Uh, oh! Wait, let me... Uh, I don't think I want to let you in. If you're sounding like that. Uh, how about... No, you can stay out for as much as I care, Lola. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> that was so freaking insane. Bugs Burgers, play the game. This message has been brought to you by Acme Containment Facility. And that was all it for the Acme Containment Facility parasitic secret tape right here. <laughs> Overall though, that was really freaking cool. This was really interesting to learn a lot of the information about how dangerous this category of the infected tunes can be and how they can spread through other organisms like that. Oh my gosh. And this last part right here is just so bone chilling. Uh, I do not want to let you in at all. And a lot of the other infested tunes ain't either. Oh, yeah. Man, rest in peace to that poor soul right there. And I just gotta say a massive round of applause to Swirls for putting together these secret text documents and this cool VHS tape right here and wow I just love reacting to things like this and just being immersed into the same universe and just learning what is going down behind the scenes and the main game itself I wholeheartedly really did enjoy wow Acme Containment Facility I just gotta commend y'all for trying your best to pretty much curve that new infection that's running rampant throughout the world, huh? So I'm gonna pass it on over back to present me, as he'll take it away from there for the outro, so take it away, me. So, that was pretty much all it for Bugs Burgers, an absolutely thrilling ride from the start of us playing Daffy Duck, just simply working at the job at Bugs Burgers. Right up until the end where we switched up and played as a new character, Queen Tyranny. And ultimately, we were knocked out due to some confidential reasons at the end of the game. However, I really did love how cryptic that whole ending felt like. And the cutscenes added so much story building to this game. As Sylvester was telling us his tragic backstory as he was the original Sylvester. That I did not completely know right up until reading all of the lore stuff in the extras, which... I really did enjoy reading all the lore on all the characters that were in this game. And on Night 4 was such a perfect twist that Sylvester took control and they did not want us to leave for a couple more hours. And these animatronics showed up headless that time and that really did creep me out. And Sylvester, I am never going to forget about that evil gaze for a long time now as he's going to be in my nightmares. So if anyone has enjoyed this video, then y'all know what to do down there since all of you are amazing. Like, comment, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already, or else Sylvester will reach right through the screen, breaking the fourth wall right for you. And hit that bell to be notified of all my future content and streams, because I do sometimes stream on my channel. And that's about it, so I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah, see y'all.